Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and this is The Groom, and today we will be unboxing the Loot Crate. Just kidding, I'm a spooky disembodied ghost voice off camera. Ah, uh, yes, welcome to the Loot Crate unboxing. You hear, you hear Ray off camera because she's getting eye surgery in the morning. Spooky hair. And she unfortunately can't be on camera right now. So, I'll be unboxing it alone because the cat just left. So, I'm just going to blind grab stuff. T-shirt first. Always go with the shirt first. All right. Hold it up. I know. It's a Venom t-shirt. Ooh. That looks awesome. I really hope... The writing glows in the dark. The red writing. Oh, that would be cool. It kind of looks like it might. Wait, lift it up a little bit. All right, I see what you get the bottom of it. So, that's an awesome shirt. Man, Loot Crate shirts have been great the last couple of months. Makes me very happy that I got it. Going off camera. <laughs> All right, so, this feels like a figurine. So, we're going to go with... What's another... Oh! Oh! That is awesome. This is the Joey Spiato created a charming and lovable version of the legendary monster in his 2015 book, Alien Next Door. From caring for Jonesy the cat to keep the house clean, to keeping the house clean, you would, you too would want Alien to be your in your neighborhood. Luke Crate has partnered with Joey to create this exclusive figural rendition inspired by his drawing, Out for a Walk, where we see that Alien has to keep up with his social life and tend to his pet just like everyone else. So it's actually signed on the back by the artist. Um, I've seen a lot of his other stuff. I really, I really like it. So I can put it together. Right now. Just kind of see. It's. I mean, it's not really much to put it together. If you look at it, oh, that glare is terrible. But if you look at it, it's not really much to put it together. It's literally a stand and three pieces. So. I mean, even a half-blind person could put it together. Or mostly blind person. Hand it over here. Bring your hands a little further. Hands on camera. Feeling Yoink. Me. All right, so let's dig in a little deeper here. I feel something. I don't know what this is. This looks like it's in a bag. This looks like <laughs> it is a camouflage bandana. But it says predator, predator bandana on it. I don't see how this has anything to do with predator. If there's something I'm missing, isn't it with the military? I mean, yeah. I mean, like Jesse Ventura in the original one wore like the the bandana on his head and stuff like that. But I mean, it's just a regular bandana. That oh my god, no, it's not. What? It's got the freaking predator design is actually, if you look at just the black part, this is going to be kind of hard to see, but look, it's the Predator in the camouflage. If you look at what's black in there, in the middle part here, you see like th these little parts is is his eye, you, is, are his eyes. You can see his, uh, right here on this hand, that's his mechanized hand with all the, with the web, weaponry in it. It's, oh, that is actually really cool. Okay, I take that back. I thought it was going to be a whomp whomp, but it it's, is it's not. Whomp. You'll be able to see that in three to six days. All right, let's look at the loot pin. All right, so get ready to hear her squeal. The loot pin is a alien. Why don't you take it out of the plastic? Season YouTube better. All right, plastic, plastic. So we can s you can see on here... It's the alien loot pen, and do you see what that is? Nope. Don't little, see much. Little tiny, little tiny uh, xenomorph. Is it a little xenomorph? Curled up in a ball. Oh. And it's, ador it's adorable with its super long ass tail. So that's a cool pen. The pens have been really cool, which I give her the pen every time. I have no use for pens. She has this radical jean jacket that she just throws all it the pens on. It's not a jean or jacket. Or a vest or whatever the hell it is. All right, so last thing is, oh my god, we were just laughing about this beforehand. We were just laughing about this before. What's the thing I did before you came on camera? I went, aliens. Yeah, because you kept putting your hands up. I want Ooh, to believe. What is it? So this looks like it's like a just a little just a little book, 
but it's like one of the um if i'm kind of thinking what this is cor correctly back in like uh the 80s when people used to try to do like the used to look for aliens and stuff like that they would carry around these little books where they would sketch or they would they would sketch or write down what they saw and this kind of looks like one of those little books and it was featured on the x-files it was the poster that Mulder had in his office uh-huh i put it together oh see look this is so nice having somebody put stuff together that is the most adorable thing I've ever seen. Other than the cat? It's on a cell phone. I just realized it's holding a little cell phone in its hand. So, that's cool. So you get a better look at that. That's so cute. So it's on a little, look, you can see it's on a little phone. And the little Zeno's pissing on a fire hydrant. The face hugger's got a pee too. So, alright, so that will definitely go up on the shelf. That's going there. I don't think there's anything left in here. So, um, yeah, so we have the, pretty much the explanation here of everything that was in, in the box. So we'll just go through this real quick. Um, Loot Crate original Venom t-shirt. If you hate spiders, we definitely have the right shirt for you. Think of it sort of like an alien symbiote that's bonding with your wardrobe to turn you into a stylish lethal protector. Fair warning, wearing it may cause you to yell, we are Venom. I'm definitely going to do that. Please don't do that. Um, the exclusive Joe bought uh, Alien Next Door Artist Series figurine. We kind of already went over that as. The exclusive Predator Jungle Camo Bandana. We know, we know, you ain't got time to bleed. But do you have time to accessorize? The fun camo bandana features the Predator blending into the jungle canopy during a hunt. Put it on and get to the chopper. Uh, the Loot Crate Edition, the X-Files hardcover journal. This September, the X-Files had its 25th anniversary and wanted to celebrate, so we're going to give you this I Want to Believe hardcover journal. Use it to document the unexplained, the paranormal, and whatever other weird stuff you happen to see. Remember, the truth is out there. I told you it was one of those. Uh, exclusive alien face hugger pen. This pin will stick to you just like the real <laughs> face huggers stuck to unsuspecting col colonist faces but with less acid blood and unfortunate chest bursty side effects. Excellent. Thank, thank God. Is there anything in the box? No, the box. The box craft. It looks like, yeah, it looks like we have some box craft here. So I don't think it's, I think it's just the standard. Uh, you just pull it apart and it kind of looks like something versus you build it into something. But we'll hold it up here for you guys to see. So this is what the inside of the box looks like. I do commend Loot, loot Crate for that. They do make it... That's cute. They do make it kind of like... Uh, they make it like environmentally fun. I like I that anyone that pays attention to packaging. I like that could really just cool be a blank, you know, box, not something... But, cool. but they take the time to print these designs on it. I mean, and it, it looks really, really cool. What does that say? Procedure, temp, technical gauges, blah, blah, blah. Transfer alien to Hangar 18 tomorrow. Hangar 18. That sounds familiar. Mm -hmm. Is that Roswell? Okay. I don't know. Are they, I've not been to Roswell. Is that Area 51? Specimen X. He looks mad. He looks pissed. So, I, that was a great box. I really... So, that's September's box? That is the September 2018 box. Arrived today. You know, wanted to get it right out there. Show, show, show every, everybody. Um... I, I really I really like this box. I really think Loot Crate has really stepped up. They got a lot of flack about five, six months ago. I know they saw a dip in sub subscriptions, and I think they really took that to heart, and I think they really improved the box. I think the biggest problem with Loot Crate was they expanded too far too fast. And I know they, took, they really took out a lot of the extra boxes, a lot of the really far out stuff, stuff that wasn't doing so well, and they kind of shrunk it down and brought it back to... You know, Loot Crate, Loot Crate DX, and only kept especially bo boxes that were really popular. Like the Deadpool Crate, super popular, which everybody knows a lot because Deadpool's awesome. Mm -hmm. But with them minimizing the amount of stuff they do with how far they expand, I think they really went back to paying close attention to the quality of stuff. The the box design has Im improved. Like the inside of the bo bo boxes are really cool now. 
and the content in it has significantly improved, which has brought, I think, hopefully, what has brought a lot of people back to Loot Crate because I love Loot Crate. So that was the September box. You know, let us know what you like. Like the video if you like the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what if you have a box, if you get DX, if you get like the Loot Crate anime, if you get whatever type of Loot Crate, I'd love to know what you get. As always, you can follow the real Ray Animator. You can follow her at uh, on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and, and Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. She'll be back on camera, I promise. Someday. You can always follow me, Groom of Reanimator, uh, on Twitter at Repeat Groom Ray. And you can also follow me on Twitch at Repeat Ray Animator, where I grind towards my uh, Twitch affiliate. You know, try to make some money back for all the money I spent on video games, which is a lot. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. But, like always, we love having you guys. Please leave comments. We love doing interaction with you. Let us know. Send us pictures with comments. Tweet us. Let us know what kind of boxes you got and what you got in it. And, uh, because I'd love to see what other box, what other boxes, uh, entail. Maybe I'll grab another box in the future. Maybe I'll let her get a box instead. <clears throat> horror crate. <laughs> <laughs> or, or maybe the next one will probably be horror crate. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Bye!